Hi, my name is Ali. I'm a chemistry teacher. My today's topic is changes in state of matter. The changes in state of matter, for example, solid into liquid and liquid into gas and back gas to liquid and liquid to solid can be possible. All these changes in state of matter are associated with energy changes and energy changes can be caused by heating or cooling. Basic principle, the core concept behind the changes in state of matter is ki kinetic particle theory. According to kinetic particle theory, the all matter, whether it is solid, liquid or gas is made of tiny particles and these tiny particles are not at rest, they are in motion. And the motion is different in case of the particles of the solid moves differently as compared to the particles of liquid and the particles of gas move differently. The basic principle, the core concept behind kinetic particle theory is that there is forces of attraction between particles. And number two, there is energy of movement of particles. When we give heat to solid, the particles of solid will gain energy. When they will gain energy, they will move faster after gaining energy and they will go away. But they can only go away if the forces of attraction between the solid particles are broken and the forces of attraction between solid particles are of very huge amount because they are closely packed together. Just like I would like to show you that the particles of solids are so closely packed together. So there are a lot of forces of attraction. So when we give energy, the forces of attraction are broken they go away and their movement will increase. And if we go on providing heat, there will be some gaps between the particles of the solid will appear and they will take this type of arrangement of the particles that there are some gaps in the particles. Some particles are still touching with each other and the particles are sliding over each other. The particles are moving. Uh, with respect to each other and in this way liquid solid has converted into liquid. If we still providing heat to the particles of liquid they will gain energy they will further go away from one another and the forces of attraction between them is broken down and a time will come that the particles will go so much away from one another like the they will take this form and there are larger gap there is faster movement and with this they have taken the shape of gas actually by heating we can convert solid to liquid and liquid to gas and by cooling we extract energy from gas we take out energy from gas particles. When we take out energy from gas particles, they will move slow and slow. So the movement will become slow with the passage of time. As we go on cooling it, we go on taking heat energy from this and they will come closer and closer. So the forces of attraction between them will appear and it will be converted into liquid. So this will take this form that the particles, some of the particles are touching and there are some gaps and this is liquid. Still we are cooling it down and we are taking out heat energy from this. They will further come closer and there are more forces of attraction between them and ultimately they will take this such a form. In this way by cooling we can convert gas to liquid a liquid to solid and this all will take place with the energy changes and this energy changes is very very important. <laughs>